Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to the Beach Block server. That's right, folks, we're back on the vanilla block today. We're getting ready to do a big project. Well, a somewhat big project. Um, it has been brought to my attention that we need that we need uh, sugar cane on this here server. So we're going to build a little, uh, well, not a little, but we're going to build a pretty decent sized uh, sugar cane farm today. We're going to do it probably out in the Mesa. No, no, I don't know if we're going to, well, I, you know what, we might do it in the desert. Desert would probably be a good place to put it. Um, we don't want to put it uh, here at spawn. We've decided here on the uh, on the server, the guys and I, we've all decided that uh, we don't want to put a lot of spawners here in, uh, in the spawn chunks. Um, so, <clears throat> You know, I don't know. Uh, it's stuff that we want to be able to go in AFK for and uh, and have uh, and have readily available. So we're going to go out to probably the desert and uh, and build ourselves a nice little uh, sugarcane farm that all of the folks can use. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to gather up some materials. Um, oh, huh. I have no longer I no longer have zero deaths when I logged in just a minute ago. <laughs> guess what happened? Obviously, I died, but uh, <clears throat> there were there were apocalypse skeletons in my freaking house. They were in my house. Well, actually, when I logged in, everything was fine. I logged in, it was night, it was raining, I was standing right next to my bed. So I decided to go ahead and sleep the night away, get rid of the rain. And there was a, a skeleton horse right outside. Well, here, let me show you where it was. There was a skeleton horse right out. Hey, come on. Get up here. There we go. There was a skeleton horse standing right here, right there, okay? I'm over here. So, I sleep. I wake up, skeleton horse standing right there. It's still raining a little bit, and as I'm walking towards it to kill it and get it out of my space, lightning struck it. It wasn't even a thunderstorm. There wasn't any lightning up there anywhere. And <laughs> he turned into the four horsemen of the apocalypse, and the rest is history. I had 10 deaths. Um, I was able to get all my stuff back. I was, you know, I was able to get them. It was daylight, so I had that going for me. So they, you know, catch them on fire and all that good stuff. Um, we have a new neighbor, uh, Camden Boats, right over there. So looks like he's got his uh, treehouse thing going. That's pretty cool. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and gather up some stuff, and we're going to head on out to the, uh, we're going to head on out to the to the desert, and we're going to build ourselves a little. Uh, a little sugar cane farm. So hang tight, be right back with you when I get all, gather up all of my stuffs. Okay, <clears throat> I think we found the spot. Um, I was gonna do desert, but we haven't found a desert yet. So, uh, but we do have the mesa here. Uh, right over here is uh, is Eternal's uh, squid farm. We might take a look at that here in a minute. It's pretty awesome. It actually is working pretty good. But you know, so we come out of the portal, and I was thinking right down here at the end of the squid farm. Um, since I'm not doing anything with mobs, it shouldn't be too much of a too much of a problem for it to be out here. But uh, put ourselves a nice big sugarcane farm, multi-story kind of a thing. Um, so yeah, I think that's what we uh, think that's what we want to do. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up so that well, first of all, I need to do some terraforming here. This is pretty flat, but I need to get a, a little bit flatter area here uh, to work with. So I'm going to clear some of this out. And then I'm going to lay out like the first level just so I can kind of get an idea for myself what I'm going to do. And then I'll come back and I'll show you what we got and we'll build another layer together. So hang tight for just a minute while I clear some stuff out and uh, set some stuff up and I'll be right back with you. All right. So here we go. Uh, got a little plan here. Uh, let's go up here. And so th what we've got here is we've got a chest uh, that'll end up being a double chest and we'll actually probably end up putting a little uh, little trench down here with a little access down to some chests underneath. Uh, water here for the sugar cane to grow next so we'd plant the sugar cane here on the red sand and then back behind just a little blockade uh, just a little blocker to keep the water in you know. Um, what we got to do now is we have to cover up this water so let's go ahead and put a block there and then I want to do um, I want to do red stained clay here. Yes, let's do red stained clay here. And just like this, cover that all up. We need some place one block higher for our pistons to set. And the pistons are what's going to harvest the sugar cane for us. Um, I'm kind of doing something a little different than I have done before um, because I don't have any sticky pistons right now. Uh, I don't have any... Um, I don't have any slime balls. 
so we're we're kind of at a loss to be able to do um, to be able to do stickies so that we can automate this thing so it's going to be manual to start with anyway um, but anyway we go like that and then we come back here and we're going to get this thing set up so that we can do um, so that we can do automated in the future but then we're going to take and get rid of that put that in there we'll do orange up top oh that's not orange clay that's orange sand um, or red sand let's see do I have any orange clay I don't have any orange clay why do I not have any orange clay let's do brown brown will be fine yeah there we go brown will be fine so we'll just put this in here like this and redstone will go on the top of this right Whoops, didn't want to do that. And put that in there like this, get rid of this. Go down here, grab some red, oh, we got some redstone. We need to make a couple of, we need to make a repeater. Um, the repeaters are this. So if we put a repeater in here, no, don't do that. Ooh, ah, wait, wait. First we gotta have, first we gotta have this. Two of those, two of those, put that there, put that there, put some redstone in between, and then do that. There we go. Now we got ourselves a little repeater. And we'll show you where that's going to go. We're also going to need a comparator. Ooh, I'm stuck down here, aren't I? Dirt. Do I have dirt? I have dirt. Go here, go here, go here. There we go. And up to daisy. There we go. So if we put this, if we put the redstone in here, what we're doing is we're actually making this bud powered. Uh, that's what will trigger the automatic function. And I think I'm going to do it on this end. So let's get ourselves another piece of red or of brown stained clay. And we'll put that in just like so. And then we need to put a repeater in like so and so that what that'll do is that will uh, mm -hmm, uh, it'll it'll power the signal all the way down because I made this 15 blocks long so we can actually power all of these pistons all at once and we should get ourselves a pretty good rate of return on uh, on some of this uh, on some of the sugar cane um, but what we'll need here is we need a we need a sticky piston here so I'm gonna go ahead and put that piston in like so uh, then we need a cauldron, oh, cauldron, uh, cauldron, cauldron, oh, that's not a cauldron, let's do this. So we need a cauldron here. You guys have seen me build this before in my single player world, uh, I believe. So we put the cauldron there, we fill it with water, and what happens is, is that the cauldron, a full cauldron emits a, uh, a redstone signal, okay? Uh, let's get ourselves a piece of hardened clay, I guess, for here. Uh, and so we put a com we put a comparator there, okay? And then we come this way like so, and up here, and uh, yeah, like that. Yep, perfect. And then we do another one here and here, right? Okay, let's tower up here for a second. So comparator would go here. And then we put redstone right here, like so. Okay. So when the when the comparator gets a signal, it sends it out here, right? Okay. And then what's going to happen is when because these pistons are powered, but there's no blocks next to them. Whenever they update, ow! Uh, if I were to put a piece of sugar cane down here and have it grow it would update the piston the piston would fire and when the piston fires it would actually trigger this one as well which would break the redstone so it, it's a big giant circle um, but anyway we're gonna go ahead and sleep the night away because it looks like the big baddies are getting ready to come out I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do here for a water stream because fifth you know water doesn't flow 15 blocks right um, what I could do what I could do I wonder hmm I'll have to think about that hang on tight I'll be right back with you okay so Went to the nether, got myself some quartz so we can build ourselves a comparator. Also, uh, Eternal had some slimes so we can actually build our sticky pistons. Um, I went, I borrowed a couple of them from him. Uh, he had like eight, so I borrowed three. Um, hoping that's okay, because I asked him on, uh, we use uh, 
uh, we use Discord as our as our new app for uh, for communicating. And I ask he shows online on Discord, but he ha he either hasn't seen the message yet or or whatever, asking if I could borrow them. So hopefully it's okay that I borrowed three of them from him. Uh, I'm guessing I'm guessing he won't have a problem with it. Um, he usually does not have issues with stuff like that. So uh, there's our sticky piston. So let's see if we can't put this in where it goes. Uh, right here. Hi yeah. And then we'll put our cauldron back in. And we're going to have to get some more water for it because when you break a cauldron, you lose the water. Uh, so we'll get some water, like so. Uh, oh, actually, we only need one bucket there. Uh, and we're going to, hopefully, we'll have enough iron to make the rest of the pistons that we need. I think we will. Uh, so that takes care of that, right? Yep, now we just need a comparator, which a comparator is, uh, let's see, we're going to need some, one, two, th oh, we don't have any sticks. Whoops. Uh, wood? Wood. There we go. So we'll get that, and we'll get some sticks. And we need one, two, three of those, plus three of those, gives us three of those. And then we put those in here like a show. It is hot in my house today. I am sweating, and I'm just sitting here talking to you guys. Hmm. Uh, and then we need some of these, right? Boom. Yep. Okay. So let's put that in where it goes. And we should. We should. Yeah. Okay. So now... Let's break this. Let's get ourselves some sugar cane. And we'll put that in like so, and we should get this stuff to grow here pretty quick. We'll have to put some glass out there to catch this all, but... We don't fall down there. Ooh, it's hard to get out of there once you fall in. All right, so we'll do that. Get some, get some more glass, which I have plenty, it looks like. And we're just going to do... The whole front of this thing is going to be glass, so we can always see what's going on. Ooh, don't fall off of there now. Come on now. And we'll put some right here. And I think we'll go one higher too. That way we don't have to worry about losing any of this. Uh, this is a pretty efficient system. I've got the same thing in my, mostly the same thing in my single player world. Um, here, that, sh that should do that. And we need some more orange stained clay for over here. Oh my gosh. Can you not fall down so much? Um, I think I can get some from over here. So let me go ahead and get some more orange stained clay. We'll close this in a little bit. And then I'm going to build the rest of this thing off camera. Uh, and uh, and we'll see how it goes. It's going to be like three It's going to be like three levels tall. So we should be able to get a fair bit of sugar cane from it. So hang tight. I'll be right back with you. Well, what do you think? I think I like. I think this is going to be a great place to come and get some uh, sugar cane from. So what I did was I made this thing, like I said, I made this thing three levels tall. Uh, and I actually, I actually sunk the chest down one level, but we've already got a stack of sugar cane here, and that's pretty awesome. Um, so that I could, I, I made it so that the water could go two levels. So it just kind of comes halfway across and then drops down and finishes up the rest of the way over to here. Uh, let me show you some of the redstone in the back. Uh, I did not close this thing in, but uh, it's pretty impressive. I'm liking it. Okay, so let's go up here and we'll take a look at the redstone one more time, just so you can see what it does. Uh, we'll go all the whoops. We'll go all the way up to the top because the top's the easiest one to see. So, uh, so we've got a cauldron here. The cauldron gives us a comparator signal. The comparator signal is three strong or two strong, and so it comes out and it fires off this uh, this repeater. The repeater comes all the way down and fires off 14. I had to I had to cut one. Uh, I had to cut one piston out, but it fires off 14 pistons, and then they just work on a block update so that when the sugar cane grows in the front, uh, they realize, oh, I'm powered, and it fires the whole string and, and harvests any sugar cane that might be in the uh, that might be in the loop or on the level. So, like I said, uh, oops, that's not the right chest. Like I said, we're we're up to over a stack now. So if somebody can, you know, if somebody's over here AFK at the at the squid farm. The sugar cane farm's going to be running. But uh, that's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Those likes and subscriptions, they help me out immensely in the YouTube search results. But uh, thanks for spending some time with me this morning on the Beach Block server and hope you enjoyed. And until next time, we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.